Well, good day, everybody. I uh, hope you're enjoying this beautiful Friday. The scripture that we're sharing today talks about growing in grace. Um, you know, as we look at it, 2 Peter 3.18 is a warning as well as an encouragement to grow, not only in statute, but to grow in grace. Earlier in the chapter, Peter is encouraging Christian maturity and a deepening knowledge of Christ, not just to sit where you are, not just to understand that you have everything that you need, you're good, but grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, how do we do that? Have you ever planted something and with all of your best efforts, it died? I have, only to find out that I did not give the plant the nutrients it needed to thrive. Well, I believe that's what uh, Scripture is trying to tell us here today. We're Christians, and we as Christians are to grow in grace and knowledge. It's one thing to put the time in and to hear the Word of God and never do anything with it. You don't ever apply it. But here is a challenge. Apply it. Give everything to God to change your lives. Allow God, as uncomfortable as it may be, to change you. Uh, we, when we grow in grace and in knowledge, we will grow to a thriving place and not easily be led astray. In other words, you'll know the right path to take. You'll consistently take the right path and you'll consistently put on the characteristics of Jesus Christ. The world's watching you. So give the world hope of a future in Jesus Christ by who you are, how you act, and most importantly, how you react. Will you join me in prayer? Father, thanks. Thanks that you give us an example here, that you challenge us to grow. You're not okay with us staying babies. You want us to grow. You want us to learn. And you want us to be mature. So help us to grow in grace. Help us to grow in knowledge. Most importantly, thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit that helps us apply every word that you've given us to our lives and helps us to become more like your son, Jesus. In his name we pray, amen. Well, God bless you and bye-bye.